Hi guys and welcome to my channel Carnival of Creativity. Today is going to be another uh, subscription unboxing. If you haven't seen any of the ones I've done previously, I've done two previous ones. This one is going to be a little bit different because this is the bigger version of the, um, the glittery hands box. That is the size of the one I have been getting previously and this is the bigger one. So I'm going to be running through with you today what is in here and hopefully going to try and make something. So if you like these videos, please make sure to subscribe. And without further ado, I'm just going to open up this baby. So I have already opened the sellotape because this one was like really severely sellotaped shut. But inside we have a little leaflet with... Um, some cute leafy print on it and some other stuff about what is inside so apparently there'll be wool a leaf dye buttons oh, well let's just have a look shall we right ah well there's the oh 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 pom poms going everywhere so I've got this tealy coloured wool. It's not really picking up how bright it is on camera. There you go, that's a bit better. So it's quite bright teal colour. Quite snazzy. No idea what I'm going to do with that, but wool. We also have, oh, what's under here? Ah, some cute little scrapbooking prints. So we've got this one which has a few little sayings on it like autumn vibes, pumpkin spice and everything. Nice, hello October and warm and cosy over there and just some little doodly pictures as well. That's really, really cute. And then this one which I absolutely love is like all the fall like leaves and acorns and things. Which I think is very, very cute. Right. Let's dive in here. Oh! Let me just double check before I call these transfers when they're not transfers. Are these transfers? I'm, I'm assuming this is what they call a vellum quote sheet. Not entirely sure what one does with a vellum quote sheet. But... Yeah. idea how you um what you do with it i shall have to have a, a look and a research but they've got some goldy ones and some black ones i have then got in my trusty bag oh some more little scrapbooky type papers oh that one's so cute look at the little trees on there it's on a grid which the camera isn't picking up either really faint grid i don't think that's picking it up at all um oh some wood stumps campers, advent that's really cute i like those what else have we got oh some oh wow they're gold i didn't think they were going to be gold i thought they were going to be like craft paper like the brown paper but they're like full-on shimmery gold cards and envelopes wowzers in here we have oh hold on let me it out and have a look oh some buttons oh they've got hold on can't get into them i don't really know what they are but they're little deer like i don't know charms i guess oh, they are cute and some like hexagonal hexagonal hexagons that's quite cute as well and some wooden arrows as well that's really cute gonna make this time there's so much cool little stuff right what else we got we have oh a wooden 
wooden leaf. Um, oh, a little leaf die cutter thing. Don't have a die machine, so I'm not sure how that's going to go. Some really pretty, I don't know if you can make out the colours in the packet, but they're like all coppery sort of coloured sequins. That's really nice. Some glitter, because they always have a um, complimentary pot of glitter. And some bubble bombs! Right, so I'm loving the um, autumn vibe, given that it's an autumn box, but I'm really loving the vibe. So I'm going to have a think about what I'm going to make, and I shall get back to you guys. Right, I have decided what I am going to make. I have gathered some supplies that I might need. So basically, after much deliberation, I have decided that I'm going to make a birthday card. So I'm going to use one of these cool, funky, glittery thingy magigies. And I am going to use some of these, I'm going to have to move everything else out of the way otherwise there's no way you're going to be able to see what on earth I am doing. I'm sure I just dropped something. Right, I'm going to use some, one of these vellum, 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 vellum things. I'm not entirely sure what they are I use them, but this is how I'm going to use mine. So I'm just going to cut out the one I want and I am going to go with the happy birthday to you because, oh crumbs. Brad's birthday is coming up, so you know, it can double as his birthday card. Kill two birds with one stone. Stone, 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 so to speak. What am I trying to do? So I've got something that looks a bit like that. I'm then going to go and cut off all of the excess edges. And there we have this thing. Now then. Now then. I want my card. I also want another one of these um, hexagon things. I'm going to use the brown one this time because it's pretty ugly and you're not going to see it. <coughs> so all I'm going to do There we go. Now this hexagon, 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 is going to act as the frame. So I now want some glitter, which Brad is just going to absolutely love if this does not stay on the card. <laughs> Ooh, that's quite a lot of glitter. I'm going a bit glitter crazed. As I say, probably much to Brad's dismay. And pop some of these autumnal sequins in. stuff shakes underneath and doesn't come out which is a good sign we like that right I think that's it I think I'm done I don't really want to go too over the top I think that's good right so there we go Ta -da! this is what I've made from my subscription box complete with where's it gone golden envelope If 
you like this video, please make sure to subscribe or comment down below or all the things like that. Um, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.